Bitcoin's been on fire lately, as you know, soaring past 43,000. That's the highest level since early last year. There it is, 43.2. But that big breakout is burning some crypto short sellers. Our Kate Rooney's following that money for us. Kate? Hey, Scott. So it's been a tough time lately to bet against some of the crypto proxy stocks as Bitcoin has risen. You've got Coinbase and MicroStrategy in particular. Those have been some of the best performing tech names this year. They're both up roughly 300 percent since January. Data from S3 Partners now showing that short sellers have lost more than six billion dollars this year on crypto related bets. More than half of those losses came from Coinbase shorts. Became more of a popular trade this fall. Short sellers increased exposure in September to what they thought was an overbought sector. According to S3, short sellers are down $2.7 billion just in the past few months on those crypto trades, or in percentage terms, that's off about 148%. Part of this rally, likely a short squeeze. You've also got individual traders now chasing some of this momentum. According to Vanda Research, individual traders started rotating out of some of the big tech names into crypto and small caps, which there's a bit of an overlap there. Coinbase and MicroStrategy have benefited from these retail inflows, as well as some of the Bitcoin mining names, too. Vanda analysts point to that upcoming January 10th deadline for the SEC's potential approval of a Bitcoin ETF, causing a lot of this excitement, they say, being a very momentum-driven asset class with a clear catalyst on the near-term horizon. They say, we wouldn't be surprised if we see retail traders continue to pump flows into the space over the coming weeks. Scott, back to you. Yeah, Kate, thank you. Do um, you have a thought on this? Because FOMO, as Kate said, anticipation of... ETFs and it's just been going in that way. If you think you missed this and you want to play catch up, one under the radar way to do it would be Robinhood. This is a stock that used to move tick by tick with crypto and uh, there's been a disconnect. But if you think about the main driver of, of profitable activity on the Robinhood platform, it is crypto. So this is a heavily shorted stock. It's been out for the count. It's rebounded a little bit off its year low. That might be a way in the stock market if, if you wanted to, I don't want to. I'm not putting this trade on, um, but it's just Why something not? that. What, what's the difference between liking, I, liking the potential of what Robinhood could do? Because what still I'm describing is because I'm more of a long term investor. What I'm describing is a short term phenomenon where this is a name that could run up into year end as everyone anticipates the first crypto ETF. The big winners of, of there being a first crypto ETF probably going to be Fidelity uh, BlackRock. I don't really think there's a trade there, but. It's a legitimization of the asset class in the eyes of, of Wall Street. And I think it does bring investors back into playing in, in, in this space. And I think, look at like Coinbase has quadrupled this year. Robinhood has not. Coinbase, obviously, a much bigger player in crypto. But again, one of the big drivers of Robinhood activity is speculation. And this is speculation writ large. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's coming back, the, they'll, they'll be back to trading on, on the Robinhood platform. Bryn, so. what are your thoughts about the space right now? Yeah, I mean, I think with we, if we get this ETF, obviously, to Josh's point, investors will say, if it's good enough for BlackRock, we want some of that. I think where you kind of have the FOMO and that greater fool's theory is, from what I understand, which could be wrong, there's about 16 to 17 million Bitcoin in cold storage. So that only leaves like five to six um, out there to trade. And so all of a sudden you have this scarcity of, and you have an ETF, which I don't really understand the math. If you only have five or six million Bitcoin and you have an ETF, how do you actually back that up? I get it on gold, but I think right now going into the year end and going into January, you're going to definitely FOMO is alive and well. And I will say, you know, this crypto community wins again. It's pretty incredible after what happened last year with FTX, Voyager, et cetera, how, you know, all the ones that stayed out of jail so uh, get to get to win. That, yeah. the, the key was you had to not go yeah. to jail. And if and if you survive, you, that, to you, you get to win again. Yeah.